Hi guys, this is Zorina at Heal and Learn. I'm here with Anna Steingold, a holistic nurse and a holistic uh, Chinese uh, medicine and health practitioner. Um, we're going to be talking today about the link between nutrition and depression. Hi, Anna. Hi, Zorina. Hi, everyone. Welcome, welcome. So I posted a video with you yesterday where you talked about your journey to discovering nutrition and holistic health. And you went through, um, you know, <laughs> I was going to call it the belly of the dead. You went through um, some serious uh, uh, depression and, and even more, uh, what was it, a panic attacks you had when you were in your 20s? Yeah, it wasn't depression, it was panic attack. Although um, anxiety can easily lead to, to depression. Mm. In other cases, I, um, uh, yeah, but in my case, it was, it was panic attack. So basically, anxiety, anxiety or panic attack can easily lead to uh, a depression. And yeah, it, for me, it was a serious wake up call to understand that something from the inside um, causes this and that I need to change my life. So actually, back then, um, Actually, back then, all my all my life, or all the circumstances, just led to this anxiety, this panic attack, because everything was very stressful around me. My job, um, I had a really stressful job in a, in an advertising agency, long hours, crazy people. I was in a very toxic relationship of break breakups and getting back together and ups and downs and uh, I was living in the center of Tel Aviv a lot of noise a lot of of busyness so everything around me so it's, it's not really a, a surprise mm -hmm. that it happened yeah but it really made me stop uh, maybe like this year is uh, made a lot of people stop their life and 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 think again um, and yeah, it maybe changed my life. I, I um, stopped everything. I went to study Chinese med medicine and nutrition, and uh, I moved to another place. And um, I needed to change everything, and especially starting to ask so many questions from the inside um, to to get to to. To, to heal, to heal myself. And this is how my journey started, actually. And um, did, you, did you start from the emotional um, source of the problem or from the bodily, physical part of the problem? Both. Both, both. Okay. together. Um, I started with Chinese medicine, although now I'm in a different place, but I think every method like Chinese medicine, it takes care of both. The emotional part of you and the physical part of you. I, I don't think it's separated because it's who we are. Mm -hmm. So let's um, talk about the, the bodily link then between nutrition and depression because for the emotional uh, link we are already quite aware of uh, you know there's a lot of information out there between the emotional link of depression and emotions. So so let's hear what, what the nutritional part is that you have discovered? So, yeah, so actually what I wanted to say is that nutrition is not just about beauty and weight loss and, you know, and get into your skinny jeans. It's actually about well-being. And so, um, you know how we say trust your guts mm -hmm. often because, and the reason for it is that um, our gut is our, called the second brain. Mm -hmm. People are more familiar with the um, uh, central, um, with the with the connection of the brain and the spinal cord, but there's another brain, which is the connection between the brain and the guts. And so up until now, we thought that um, if you have mental problems like depression or anxiety or like this, it infected your gut. It makes them work faster or slower. It depends on the constitution. But now we know that it's called the crosstalk. There is actually a communication uh, between the gut and the brain. So not only that neur neurons and, 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 um, and uh, nerves 
comes from the brain down, but also whatever is in your intestine, whatever is in your gut, goes up to the brain and affect it. So, and actually, uh, the communication between the gut and the brain, the brain in the head, is uh, uh, actually it plays a key role in uh, certain diseases, mental diseases like uh, chronic pain, depression, Alzheimer, autism, a variety, Parkinson, you know, whatever. Because if your guts are full of uh, leftover of medicines, leftover of, of unprocessed food, um, if it's inflamed, whatever is in there goes up with this communication to the brain and affects the, the cells. Mm. Um, and what is even worse actually is that uh, it is the it becomes then a fertile ground for all kinds of parasites. I had a video recently about parasites and it turns out that, um, I don't know what institute made this research, but I read somewhere that one in three people in Europe suffer from parasites in their system. And I'm talking all kinds of parasites, such that reside in the brain, in the intestines, in, you know, in the heart, even in the lungs. This is something that we have no clue about, but it's massive and it's very difficult to detect. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And this is exactly the link mm -hmm. because it's not only one, one way effect. It's yeah. a, you know, it's a, it's it's a chain a reaction. reaction. Yes, it's a chain reaction. And of course, uh, the immune system, you're talking about the immune system, all the parasite, parasites. Yeah, of course. So this is exactly it. And so we have to understand that everything we, we put in has a, has a chain reaction. And, and so uh, now in, in hospitals, in Western medicine, uh, they also are aware of the connection between nutrition and whatever is in our guts mm -hmm. to mental illnesses. Mm -hmm. So um, I, actually, I, I uh, read somewhere that until the, the end of the 1800s, nutrition was a part of the medical education. And then it was taken out at the beginning of the 1900s. So it was a vital part of you becoming a doctor knowing about nutrition. And now they've separated it completely, at least formal medicine. I mean, yeah, of course, you see of course there are some progressive doctors that um, advise you on nutrition, but usually they just prescribe you medicines. Right. Of course, the Chinese medicine, the Ayurvedic, Ayurvedic uh, Indian medicine, they use herbs to cure. Yeah. Um, and uh, so we also use it today, but we have to understand the importance that it's not. So I can tell you that I can tell you that most chronic diseases, I'm talking about cancer, uh, Parkinson, most of the chronic uh, diseases can be treated only by nutrition, by mm -hmm. change of life, lifestyle and, and nutrition. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing how we don't really need medicines and drugs mm -hmm. because they, it's not really a healing process. It's more like a to stabilize you process. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how important is nutrition? How important is uh, our well, our, our routine, our, our wellness, our well-being. Mm -hmm. So you you, uh, you have a program that you're offering that starts next week and you're going to be teaching people a separated food consumption based on their blood types. Right, so, so uh, we're studying next week. Uh, it's going to be two sessions. We're going to talk about uh, food combination, how to separate food uh, certain certain kind of food not to mix them together how important is this on our digestive systems and our guts and our and it, how, how can it help us to wait to lose weight easily mm -hmm. just by separating food from one one another um we are also going to be very very specific um about nutrition about what kind of food is good for you according to your blood type because our blood type is affecting our ability to digest certain food. 
Um, yeah, so this is basically what we're going to do. And hopefully that everyone can be his own expert and, mm -hmm. yeah, and, 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 and lose true, weight as a way of living. Right. So actually have the true prevention of chronic diseases rather than consuming some immuno stabilizers and boosters, you change your lifestyle. But actually your uh, your program has three sessions. The third one is Q&A as far as I remember, right? Right, right. Yeah. We will have uh, the, the last part will be just questions and uh, answers and, you know, to see how, how it goes to people. Mm -hmm. um, and if someone needs some more guidance, uh, yes, of course, it will be three sessions. Mm -hmm. And we're going to start on Sunday, next Sunday. Awesome, perfect. Thank you so much, Anna, yeah. for your time. Speak to you soon. Thank you, Irina.